Yeah. I, I want to backtrack a little on this technology. I forgot one other thing. Everybody aware what a drone is? I just watched a video <clears throat> with boats parked around the school of Tartan from a drone. Um, the redfish problem, problem started back in the 80s when I slightly overweight gentleman decided to black them out of Louisiana. They took, they didn't have drones, they used spotter planes and went offshore, spotted the brood stock and netted them all up in one shot. Boom, it was gone. I mean, I used to fish Flamingo and you'd see schools 60, 70 yards across. After that, oh look, there's two. Um, so you got a lot of things working against it, but you got to give Mother Nature a little help. You know, somebody's got to do it. And we think we have a system that's going to work. Um, you had said that your um, the fisheries would be in various locations. Right. Would they be in like Bonita Springs and well, Pine I'm, Island? I'm making no promises. I have to see how it falls out. You know, our, our initial hatchery, we're trying to get the land on Pine Island. Um, and, uh, you know, we don't need a whole bunch. We'd like to have at least two to three acres. So when you have 10,000 fish, you can filter the fish and literally throw it down the sewer system. When you're at 100,000 uh, or more, you, you, you need a, uh, uh, what's the field called? What? The field, so the, the, where everything drains out into? Leach. 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 <laughs> Very far. So you need a leach field for that. But uh, our, our goal is, you know, uh, get the, get, Fish, get the fish in the water, um, and then you know get the, the kids involved, the communities involved. Where when I lived in Texas, once we uh, the facility you saw, I was a teacher there. We stopped taking kids to the Alamo in San Antonio for field trips. We took the kids to the fish hatchery, and this place here. I mean, you walk in and it's like ten foot high, you know, aquariums of every fish you could see, and walk on both sides, and the kids. You know, feed the fish, and you know they, they they see the different things. They have a pond there where they actually kids would can catch the fish, um, and then whether they fish or not, you know, we're talking about the next generation here, guys. We get you know get off the computers. Um, the, the kids will get involved in ecology, wetlands restoration. Okay, even if they didn't fish, cleaning up the beaches, you know, keeping the fish stocking. It, it all. Remember the puzzle. It all comes together. And we feel that enough people fish in Florida that people will come together for what we're doing and be able to, then we get huge numbers and we can attack any problem we want and go after the legislature and all that. Sure. But that's the